What up YouTube? G Friendly here once again and basically today's video is basically me discussing why I don't recommend the PS Vita, you know, and this is like major news because usually I'm kind of a Sony fanboy, you know, I love everything Sony, you know. So for me to not recommend this device after owning like five PSPs, two PlayStation 2s, two PlayStation 1s, you know, owning so much Sony shit, you know, it was just hard for me to say I don't recommend the PS Vita. But some of the reasons why I don't recommend it was when I found out it's not backward compatible with your old PSP. You know, so all of the UMD movies you purchased, all the UMD games you done bought for like 30 bucks each, you know, all of this shit that you bought for your old PSP cannot be used on your PS Vita. That's one of the first things that literally irked me about the PS Vita. How can it not be backwards compatible? Like, it's the successor to the system. How come there is no version that is compatible? If y'all was gonna do that, y'all could at least did what PlayStation 3 did and release the versions that is backward compatible and isn't backwards compatible. If they was gonna do that instead of just taking away the option altogether, you know? So when I, that's definitely a drawback. One of the other things I've heard is that the battery life playing the playing video games on it is three to five hours. So essentially three to five hours, that defeats the purpose of it being portable. It's not portable if I have to sit near a wall charger and charge it, you know? The bat that's horrible battery life. Horrible battery life. I cannot recommend a device, a portable gaming device that will be dead in three hours, three to five hours. You know, that's that's horrible battery life, you know? I don't, I don't know why it's that bad, but like I said, I don't recommend it. And with the price being $250, okay, the price may seem okay because that was how much the previous PSP costed when it came out, you know? So you would think that's not that bad. $250 for the Wi-Fi version, $300 for the um, 3G version, but what we just find found out is it's not micro SD compatible. It's not SD compatible. You have to use custom made Sony memory cards for your games. So with that being said, all the game, most of the games and all the digital content you will need, you need that custom memory card for all that, all that downloadable shit. You need the memory. And the third, and, the, and I don't, if it's a, and I want 32 gigs, so that's automatically another $100. So say you got the $300 version, you gotta pay $300 for your PS Vita, then you gotta pay for uh, $30 for um, three gigs of data so you can use on AT&T. It's only compatible with AT&T, by, by the way. And then you gotta spend another $100 for the custom memory card that, that you gotta buy for the PS Vita. So essentially, you're paying $430 to get the full capability out of this system. $430, I mean, I cannot recommend that shit. That is highway robbery, you know? Uh, I just cannot support that shit, you know? Um, <laughs> maybe, I'd recommend it more if they come out with a with more with bigger battery packs and they already hacked they already got hacks for it so we could download games for free you know it may be shit like that but until then you know like with the custom firmware with the original PSP if they could do that with the new PS Vita then maybe I'd recommend it but for right now what they're offering I cannot recommend it it's too much. $430 to get the full capability of your gaming. No, I. it's not worth it. If you got a PS3, you don't need it. And plus the lineup of games, they got a few good titles out like Wipeout, um, Uncharted. They got a few couple, 
Uh, let me see what else. More I heard Mortal Kombat was coming out. Street Fighter vs. Tekken. Got a pretty good lineup of games coming out. But like I said, if you got a PS3, I don't see why you would need a PS4, PS Vita, because it's really not that portable. It's not that portable. If you want, I recommend you just key, use your original PSP and have a whole bunch of emulators and shit. You have just as much fun and have a smartphone and have a smartphone with 3G and pay for that coverage instead of paying for that coverage on top of the separate coverage you need for the PS Vita. You know, so like I said, PS Vita, I don't recommend it. So all of you people that are buying it, you know, tell me down in the comments below if you'll be purchasing one and tell me why you'll be purchasing one. And if you don't want one, tell me why you don't want one too. So hit me down in the comments below. G4 Elita here, signing off. Thank you for watching, guys.